Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to create a group in Office 365. So first of all, we will see the types of group in Office 365 and then we'll proceed accordingly. So we'll go to our Office 365 admin center. Over here, we will be able to see different admin centers such as security, compliance, endpoint manager, identity exchange, SharePoint teams. So I'm going to create a group in Office 365 using exchange admin center. Over here, we'll be able to see recipient tab. We need to go to group. Over here, we'll see the option to add a group. So we'll click on add a group. Now you'll see the options that we get the types of group in office 365 so first one is microsoft 365 group which says as recommended so it can be used for multiple purposes for file sharing or even it can be used as a teams group also creates a sharepoint site in respect to this particular group now the second one is distribution group third one is mail enabled security and the fourth one is dynamic distribution we'll start with the easy one it's distribution group so what a distribution group is you can create a group you can add different members to that particular group you can assign an owner who can add or remove the members or who can manage this distribution group in case if I want a report in my organization to be sent to a set of users and I don't want to do it manually so what I can do is I can create a distribution group I can add those users in that group once the distribution group is created I can do the automation such that the email gets sent to that particular distribution group now when the email will be sent to that distribution group it will be expanded and the email will be sent to all the members in that distribution group so this makes our task really easy all right now let's move to the next page wherein we have to fill in the basic information regarding the group that we are going to create so we need to give the name let's say test office 365 if you want you can enter the description as well just as a reminder for other admins so that they can know why exactly this group was created so i'll leave it as test for now let's click on next now you need to assign an owner to this particular group who can manage it at his end if we create a distribution group without an owner so every time a user needs to be added or removed they will you know reach out to the admins so it will make their task a lot harder Harder or you will need more admins to manage groups in your organization because in our organization it is you know uh, near about 10 distribution groups but there can be organizations wherein there are thousands of groups so it is not easy to manage for admins to add or remove members or do any other action on those particular groups so the best practice that we do is we assign an owner so he is responsible to manage that particular group he is responsible to add members remove members and other stuff so let's suppose I'll make test office 365 I have a test account I'll assign the owner uh, as test office 365 I need to click on next add members or one more thing i would like to add if you want you can assign multiple owners to a distribution list or a distribution group from here i can go to assign owner and let's suppose i want abhinav as well to manage the group i can add him as well let's click on next now we get the option to add members to that particular group whom we want that these users should be a member of this group so over here i can choose as many users as i want there is definitely a limit to the addition of members so i'll give you the link in the description to go to the exchange online limits we have all the limits mentioned there that we have in exchange online let's suppose I add Abhinav, Niket, Jennifer, David that we created, Test Pradeep or Test Office 365. I'll add. I'll click on next. The next option that you get is to create a group email address. So definitely if there is a group and somebody needs to send an email to that group, there needs to be an email address. So I'll keep it as test.distribution at shantry.com. Now, you also get an option, you know, to manage group in such a way that if you want only the people, you know, within your organization can send email to this particular distribution group, definitely you can do that. You can restrict people from external world to send emails to that particular distribution group. So if you want to allow external users, you can check this box, allow people outside of my organization to send emails to this distribution group. You have an option to do that as well. The conditions to join the group. So if you leave it open, anyone can join this group without owner approval. Closed, only group owners can add members. All requests to join will be automatically declined. Owner approval, anyone can request to join this group and owner must approve the request. So these are the different type of options that we get for members to join the group. So I'll keep it as closed and leave Leaving the group, I'll keep it as closed. So only the owner will be able to add or remove the member. I'll click on next. And here you get the option to review the settings that we have chosen in the previous option. These are all the settings. I'll hit create group. Great. The group has been created. Now let's go to the distribution list. Uh, the group has been created. And here's the group that we have created. Test.distribution. Here you can see the basic information. Email address, the primary email address, the aliases, the role assignment. And if we go to the members tab, you'll be able to see the owners here. And you'll be able to see all the members. You'll be able to manage these members members from this portal itself so if you want to add member remove member you'll get an option to do that all right great so that is all for today thank you for watching bye bye take care so guys if you have any questions queries regarding this video please drop a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and do like and subscribe to our video thank you